Hello friends, oh, welcome back. In this session, we are going to understand and learn what is NPU, how can NPU be used for running the AI workloads and I am going to show you some demonstrations where you can understand how do we run OpenBeno with NPU. All these can be done provided you follow step by step inputs that I am going to give you and I will also describe this very clearly in the description section with stepwise input and that is going to be very handy. First of all, we need to check if we have NPU supported and we have NPU in our process. So you can see that I have gone to the task manager and there in performance I have gone in and you can see that we have got CPU, memory, disk, GPU and NPU available. Now what is NPU? An NPU or a neural processing unit is a dedicated processor or processing unit on a larger SOC designed specifically for accelerating neural network operations and AI tasks. Unlike the general purpose CPUs and GPUs, the NPUs are optimized for data driven parallel computing which is making them highly efficient and excellent at processing massive multimedia data which can be video, images or processing neural networks. They are particularly very good at handling AI related tasks which can include the speech recognition, background blurring in video calls, photo or video processing, everything can be done nicely with NPU. Now we are going to use this NPU for us to run the AI workloads and it's going to be easy to do but we have some steps to follow. We are going to do this step by step one after another and we will give all the guidelines clearly in the description. You can try it out at your end and in case you face any difficulty, let us know. We will be happy to help you. Let's go one step at a time. The first thing that I want you to do is to go ahead and install the Chrome Canary Browser. What is it? The Chrome Canary Browser is designed for developers who can get access to cutting edge browser tools and features. And you can test the latest platform APIs or new developer tools and that's going to be very very easy for you to use. So I suggest you to install the Google Chrome Canary Browser. I have already installed one and that's going to be very easy for installation. Try it out and once you install it, you have got to do one more step then. What is it? I need to open the address bar and I need to type something which I am going to do right now will enable the WebNN API for us. Just type Chrome colon double backslash flags and there you have got an option for search flags. Just type WebNN. I will talk about it a little later as in what is WebNN. Then you have to get this enabled. I have already enabled it. If it is already enabled for you, which may not be the case all the time, you need not worry. But if it is not enabled, you have to enable it and restart the browser. That's it. This is done. Now, as the machine learning evolves, bridging software and hardware for scalable web-based applications and solutions has been really a big challenge. WebNN is a specification that allows developers to deploy AI entirely within a web browser and it's being enabled in many popular browsers on Intel platforms. Web applications gain the ability to create, compile and run machine learning networks very easily with this support. With the WebNN, we can take the advantage of lower level acceleration libraries to run AI more efficiently. Now, Web Neural Network API, WebNN API is a JavaScript API that provides high level interface for performing machine learning computations on neural networks in web applications. With the WebNN, developers can leverage hardware acceleration to efficiently run inferencing tasks on various devices which can include CPU, GPU and AI accelerators. This is the first step for you to do. Go ahead, install it, enable the WebNN and that's it. First step is over. We will get into the next step shortly. What is the next step to do? We got to install Anaconda. Yes, I have Windows operating system and I am going to install Anaconda from the Anaconda official website and once I download the installer, I can go ahead and install it without any problem. It will ask you to click next, next, next and that's it. The installation is all done. And once the installation is done, you need to ensure that you are issuing this command to create the NPU and run it. And one thing that I have to tell you, when you are installing, the destination folder should not have any spaces. So please see this, this is a message that we will get in case we get any spaces included in the destination folder. It has to be avoided and please avoid the spaces in the destination folder. For an instance, Sriram KV is not preferred with Sriram space K space V. It has to be continuous. If your destination folder name is something like that, please do not leave any spaces in between and this is the best way to go ahead with. Now, we are going to create the NPU environment by using conda create hyphen n npu python equal to 3.10. Once you issue this command, 
it may take few seconds and once the installation is all done once the setup is all done it will ask you to activate it conda activate npu will activate the environment you have to issue this commands in this prompt anaconda prompt please understand once your anaconda is installed you can search for ana anaconda and you will be able to see anaconda prompt anaconda navigator all these things available in your system and you have to use this anaconda prompt and it is not the standard command prompt where you should issue these commands remember all the commands whatever i am talking about are to be issued only with the anaconda prompt now i have activated the npu and conda activate npu will get that done what is the next step we will have to go ahead and install the intel npu acceleration library what is it it's going to be very helpful for us in accelerating the a workload computes and we can install it with these pip install intel speak intel hyphen npu hyphen acceleration hyphen library again this command has to be issued from the anaconda prompt and this may take about few seconds for you to install it now once you have done all these you can check if things are installed properly by checking pip hyphen pip space freeze now it will list the things which are installed so you can have everything checked here very clearly for me if i check open vino because we are going to demonstrate open vino it is available here very clearly for you so all these things will be very useful for you this is the second step that you need to do install anaconda activate the npu environment finish up the things and wait for the next step the next step will go with open vino and we will start that shortly the next step on even the prerequisite that i would ask you to go ahead with this installation of the git please install git from the official website and once the installation of the git is complete please check and validate if it has been installed properly by typing git in the start menu you will see git bash git gui all these things available and if it is available means that you have installed it right well we are going to get into the final stage where we are going to run the open vino on the intel npu i will give you the reference link with which you can refer and understand things even clearer uh, through the description section you can refer all these things very clearly but i will walk you through the procedure as well now we need to also go ahead with bc++ distributable installation i will give you the link go ahead once all these are done please activate conda conda activate npu has to be done and once it is done that's it things are all smooth for you so after we activated the npu we are going to clone the open vino sample notebooks yes open vino notebooks are available and they are prepared by intel and it's available in the github the link is presented in the description section we need to just clone it the moment you clone it you would have gotten that available in your system very clearly and you can issue the clone command either from anaconda prompt or you can go ahead with the git bash where you can issue this command now let's see if that has come here safely you can see that open vino notebooks are available and we are going to access these notebooks through the jupyter lab and we are going to run that in the npu that's it we have got the sample notebooks available all those are cloned right now and the cloning command is given in the description section issue that command here you will get this available for you and that's it things are done we can launch and run things clearly in the jupyter lab which we are going to do right now we have gotten into the final stage of the demonstration and the discussion you please navigate into the open vino underscore notebook directory and once you are there you can issue a command the jupyter space lab space notebooks that's all this will now launch the jupyter notebooks whatever sample notebooks that, that we have cloned and that's going to be available in front of you i prefer you to open this with the canary chrome and that's going to be very helpful for you and you can see that we have got all these available in front of you and you can start running this you can see that we have got set of examples and case studies available here along with the code and explanation you are going to run this codes and that codes are open vino codes and they are going to be utilizing the npus which are available in the machine right now very simple for you to start with you can go ahead with hello npu which is a very detailed explanation and sample codes are available here which will walk you through starting from the point what is npu what are all the required packages to be installed what are all the ways that you can use and check if npu is being utilized even the benchmarking details are available and this will be really helpful for you 
try this out and in case you have any questions any queries or wherever you are you are you are facing some difficulties reach us out we will be able to help you all these will utilize npu and you can check that and validate too and try it out this is going to be very interesting if you have npu with you i think that it's going to make your processing it's going to make your ai workload processing much more easier and if you have any queries please reach us out we'll be very happy to assist you thank you very much uh, the descriptions are very clearly provided to you wherever you are stuck feel free to reach us and we will help you